Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And what I did with this photo basically, let me just go back to my history real quick. So that's the before, I cropped it and this is what it looks like after the crop. So all I did was to go to crop tool and then choose a 4 to 5 ratio because I am going to be uploading this to Instagram. So that's my um, crop uh dimension so what i'm going to do right now is to just create a new layer and then i'm going to quickly clean up the uh model skin let me zoom this back out just going to remove the blemishes from the model skin real quick so j on the keyboard for the patch tool and then i'm just going to uh, remove the blemishes real quick don't want this to be a super long video so i'm just going to be removing a little bit fast and I always use the uh, patch tool to remove the blemishes from the model skin because it is faster for me. I mean, any tool should work for you, but that's a tool I like using. So I'm just removing anything that I don't want in the image, basically. All right. So I guess that is it so far. Far. let me see right here as well and here and here and I am good no perfect that's it <laughs> all right good so the next step now is to do frequency separation so I'm just gonna come here to the frequency separation action I'm gonna put this at 10 and then I'm gonna go to the low frequency layer and then I'm gonna come over here to the mixer brush ensure that your mixer brush is at two percent for the flow and if you have any colors right here you just clear the brush i'm going to zoom this up and then i'm all i'm going to do now is just brush uh, i want to even out the skin basically so all i'm doing is just brushing and you want to ensure that you brush the highlighted area separate from the shaded area or the dark areas Sometimes you can somewhat mix them, but you have to be careful because you don't want it to look weird. It, it will look that way sometimes if you mix the dark area with the light area. And sometimes it may even help your image a bit. I mean, it all comes down to practice. All right, come down to the model's chin, do the same thing. All right, guys, so guess what? I'll be um, providing you guys with some raw uh, files so you can do some edit. But for some of the files, I'm going to be labeling some of them um, for you to, in to upload to Instagram or Facebook or wherever you'd like to upload them. And some of them, I'm going to ask you not to upload them to the Internet. Well, you can upload them to the internet, but you'll be uploading them only in my group because I've created a group recently. So you'd go to the um, you'll go to the description and you see the uh, link there for the group. So all I'm doing is to brush the light area, the dark area. That's all I'm doing. This is how easy retouching is, trust me. Ensure that you light your images properly and you have a makeup artist. You should be good to go. All right, that looks good. All right, don't think there's anything else I need to do. I am just going to zoom in a little bit and see if there's anything else there for me to uh, remove. All right, so I'm going to come to the um, high layer here. I'm going to press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp tool. And I'm just going to remove some of these um, sections here. So I'm going to sample a clean area and just 
paint over the areas that I like to remove. So what I'm doing, I'm all I'm doing is just press Alt and sample the clean area and then just um, paint on the area I'd like to remove. That's all I'm doing. So normally I use the clone stamp tool when I have the frequent separation action um, selected or activated. I don't always use um, the clone stamp tool. I keep saying the wrong things. I don't normally use, I don't normally always use the um, patch tool. Only I only use a patch tool when I'm not working with a frequent separation layer. But once I'm working on the image itself, I use the patch tool to remove blemishes or anything. All right. All right, so right here, I have to... All right, so I'll make a selection of this and just do that. And that looks that does not look good. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna undo what I've just done. I'm gonna get the pen tool. I'm gonna make a selection. Alright. Right click and wait. Sometimes you have to use the mouse because sometimes the pen doesn't work for me. I'm going to go back to the clone stamp tool. Alright, I think I want to work on a layer. I'm going to create a new layer. And then do this. And paint back over it. Perfect. It's a little white thing showing right here. Don't think there's anything else I need to do. Maybe right here. All right, that looks good. Oh, I think I can work on our lips a little bit. Let's go up here. So I'm gonna do sample, paint, sample, paint, sample, paint. Oops, too much. All right. Oh, I see what's happening here. I was actually using the clone stamp tool on a layer. I don't normally like to do that. So I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the patch tool and make adjustments. Because I was wondering why it looks like that. It looks different. Yeah, normally when I'm working on a layer, I always want to use the patch tool instead of the clone stamp tool or any other tools because um, this one works better for me. And it works better for me because that's the tool I've always been using. So yeah, I'm more comfortable using the patch tool. And I think it's faster. That's just my opinion. <laughs> All right, that looks good. So the next step now is dodge and burning. Let me check the neck. Uh, maybe that. Maybe that. Good. So I'm going to do some dodge and burning now. So I'm going to start with the dodge, which is, wait, Control D to deselect because maybe something is selected. All right, so I'm going to press B for the brush. Ensure that my brush is at 1%. And then I'm just going to brush the highlighted areas. Um, so if the area is already highlighted, I would not suggest that you add any more highlights to it. Um, here is highlighted already, but it's a little bit dark. Alright, that's too bright. I think I need to ch choose a soft brush. So I'm going to come to the brush here. 
a soft brush still at one percent for the flow i'm just going to highlight this a little bit more before and after and then i'm going to come under the eye right here and highlight here as well it's a little bit dark and normally what you'll do as well is to follow what the makeup artist did so if you see a highlight somewhere you just and it's dark you just highlight it a little bit more and it will really help your image trust me I'm not sure if I want to add any highlights here. I'm just gonna undo that. <laughs> um, but I think I want to put some highlight right here. I'm gonna zoom out and put some highlight under the neck, just like that. But another one right here and right here. Let's look at it before and after for what I've done so far. That's the before. That's the after. Okay, so I still have a highlight right here. So I'm gonna press um, to, to switch this to black so I can get rid of the highlight. I'm just gonna press X on the keyboard. I'm gonna do it 100% and just get rid of that because I don't want any highlight right there. I'm gonna put this back at 1%, switch this back to white. And then I don't think there's anything else here for me to highlight. So I'm gonna do burn. All right, good. So um, right here, it's gonna be burn, burn. Just gonna burn here and here. Uh, no, not gonna add anything there. To the sides of the hands, I'm gonna add some burn. So basically just making a dimension actually, you know? All right, good. So that looks okay. Let me just burn right here and see what happens. Uh, it looks good. I'm going to do another frequency operation. So I'm going to press the background layer. I'm going to keep it at 6.4. I'm going to move this to the top. Control shift, right bracket. Bring it to the top. Come down to the low layer. Come over here to the mixer brush. I'm gonna try to blend out this a little bit. It, to me, it looks, it's, it doesn't look even to me. So I'm just gonna blend it out. I still got it before and after for that. So before, after. So now it looks blended to me. All right, perfect. Let me zoom this up and see what's happening right here. Okay, I don't like what's happening right there. I need to fix that. okay that looks good let's look at the before and after for everything real quick so hold on and alt click the eye that's the before and that's the after all right good so i'm going to apply some colors some color to the image now i'm gonna go to camera raw all right uh, go back up to the top Control Alt Shift E to create a new layer. Control J to duplicate it. Control Shift Alt. You know what? I'm not gonna do any shortcut. Just gonna come right here to filter and then camera raw. And then all I'm gonna do now is to do some coloring. So I'm gonna come over here to the uh, collaboration and then go to primary colors and just warm up the image a little bit. Let's look at the before and after by pressing this wire right here. So that's the bef well, that's the before and this is the after. Um, the green, all right. I'm gonna try to see if I can change the color of the green right now and see what happens. Okay, it doesn't really change it. <laughs> all right, um, saturation. All right, no. All right, so I'm just going to bring this up to a little bit more that looks good I'm gonna come back over well I'm gonna go over to the um, basic option I'm gonna to come to the green well no not basic option I'm gonna to go to the HSL right here I'm gonna to try to play with the green and see if I can change the color of the green a little bit um, to let it look a little more rich so that looks good 
Um, okay, this doesn't do anything. Uh, what else? Let me see if I can change the. No, I'm not gonna touch this. If you if you move the orange, you're gonna change the skin um, tone. You don't want to do that. I'm gonna use yellow and see what happens. Nothing. So that wait. Oh, I like this. All right, good, right there. I'm gonna go back over to the basic, and then I'm going to play with the dehaze a little bit, just like that. Then texture. Texture is gonna be like. Uh, five yeah good so that is it for the color grading i don't think i need to do anything else here it looks good let me just try to play with something here and see um the hair i'm gonna adjust the hair a little bit so i'm gonna apply some well we have a lot of dehairs on the hair now that works clarity I'm gonna do another one over this side come over here I think I could use a brush to brush it out if I go too much on the skin I'm just gonna do that now that I'm gonna get the brush and then I'm just going to do I think this is what invert oh yeah it's working because I don't want it on the face. Good. All right, so I'm going to press OK. Good. So that's the before, after. Perfect. All right, so I don't think there's anything else I need to do right now. What's happening right here? I'm not even going to fix this. <laughs> All right, I still think I want to work on that a little bit. Let me just press J and remove some more of these things here. All right, that looks good happening right here wait just move it down all right so this looks hey what's happening hey 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 get back here this looks good but I kind of don't like what's happening right here wait just gonna do it only Alright, I think I like that better. Alright guys, so that is it for the image. All you have to do now, wait. Something is not right right here. You're going to have to do this over again. Wait. It's going to go back. You know what? I'm just going to leave it as is because I don't like what was happening just now. Alright, so that is the image right now. I'm going to add my logo to it now. And then upload it to Instagram. right there perfect so i'm just gonna save it now and that is it so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for hey you know what no i'm not gonna leave it i need to work on the eyes so clean teeth and eyes I'm gonna press b on the keyboard for the brush and then i'm just going to do uh, my flow is at one percent so i'm gonna change it to about 60 six percent good yes that is it now it looks really nice perfect all right guys so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video bye bye